Hi, church family. Here's some hope for Thursday. It's from 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 9. It's a portion of that verse that simply says this. We have become a spectacle to the world, to angels, and to men. We have become a spectacle to the world. What's Paul talking about? Well, the picture is a picture of the Roman general coming into the city with a military parade of conquering legions, and it's their version of a ticker tape parade, a victory march. The general begins, the legions follow, and at the very end of the line, there are the prisoners taken in war, and these prisoners are uh, eventually going to meet their doom in the Colosseum as the crowds, uh, in a harsh way, will boo them as they meet their demise. Paul says, we're, the, we're, we're at the end of the line. We're the spectacle of the world. And here's his point. The world is watching how we respond to the difficulty in our day. The world is watching. The, your neighbors are watching. Uh, your colleagues at work are watching. Your co-workers. And I'll tell you who else is watching. Paul says, even the angels in heaven are watching to see how the redeemed, the forgiven, uh, the justified, um, the heirs of the new heavens and the new earth, how will these who are new creation in Christ respond to the most difficult, trying, death-like times in their day? They're waiting. They're watching. How will these redeemed show their faithfulness to the king? That's what Paul is saying. We're a spectacle. Are we going to be different than the world? Are we going to respond uh, to the day's events differently than the world? Are, are we going to look like the world? Or will there be a distinction, a, um, a poise, an otherworldly hope that translates itself in how we live and how we act and how we speak? That's what Paul is saying here. We become a spectacle to the world, to angels, to all of humanity. How will our lives show the difference Jesus makes today? Heavenly Father, help us. Help us to live as a spiritually royal people in Christ. Help us to walk in dignity. Help us to respond in love. Help us to demonstrate to the world that there is a difference that Jesus makes by his power, for his glory, and our good. And the church said, amen.